before we get off track, I said, now that's the history. So what can we learn from it? We, in my opinion, based on that experience, that uh, uh, those three events in that single day, let's hypothetically imagine, hypothetically, you have 1.7 million people in Gaza. Let's say those 1.7 million people are organized, mobilized, just as Hamas used incredible ingenuity, cleverness, um, investment of energy in creating that tunnel system, which was really a wonder of civil engineering. So it was, was a surprise. Yeah, it was, it was incredible. I mean, the, yeah. with the tools they had, what they were able to construct, it's not as if they had earth movers. <laughs> it's yeah. very impressive. Oh, yeah. But let's say, yes, let's say they use that same ingenuity, cleverness, investment of time and energy in organizing and mobilizing Gaza's most precious resource, the indomitable will of the people, and then organize the march. 1.7 million people. We put at the front of those 1.7 million people the million children in Gaza because it's the, the uh, blockade is killing them. We have to be clear about that. 95% of the drinking water in Gaza is unfit Some for hum yeah, human consumption. Yeah. Unfit. You're killing the kids. Of course. You're killing the kids. So this is the argument. So you put... To die by, what, to die one to second. Die. Yeah, fine, but wait. You put the one million kids at the head of the demonstration. They hold up the banners. End the strangulation of Gaza. End the illegal blockade. We make it clear. The blockade is killing us. It's illegal. They march to Eretz checkpoint, the uh, uh, border crossing with Israel. They want to go through. Yes, you, you're going to tell me Israel's. In, uh, I don't know. Israel will kill them. Some of them. Yes. Will it kill when a lot? Of, in wait, wait. Kill a lot of them. When they try to cross the border in mm -hmm. Lebanon and in. in yeah, but, but okay. I'll get to that. I, I, I'll get to that. I'm, re I'm ready for the objections, but let me just lay out the scenario. Mm. They march. Several, uh, uh, as I said, 1.7 million. Mm. They have the banners. They make clear their goal. We want to end the illegal, merciless blockade of Gaza. They march on Eretz checkpoint. And then we, in the West, because just like the people of Gaza are the most precious resource of the Palestinian struggle, the Palestinians have another resource which they've never used, very foolishly in my opinion. They have the resource of the vast reservoir of support for Palestine all around the world. There is no other cause that remotely compares, no, listen, that remotely compares in terms of popular support around the world to Palestine. Tibet? No. Kashmir? No. Even in the United States, climate war, uh, uh, climate change? No. Withdraw from Iraq? No. There is nothing compared to support for Palestine. So imagine if, as they march in Eretz checkpoint, hundreds of thousands of Palestine supporters, which is very real, it's not a number I'm conjuring in my head. Well, Remember, just in London, during Operation Cast Lead, just in London, the demonstration was 150,000 people. Now imagine if the crowds, these people, their supporters, converged on the UN in New York and the UN in Geneva, surrounded both institutions and shut them down, and said, we're not going to allow you to pass, until the blockade is lifted. You have to remember because you well, work we at the... Know, we don't know how many people are determined to that. Uh, to that you would be very surprised. You would be very surprised. I one day got so frustrated. I just went on the internet I, and I said, uh, let's go and have a sit-in. No organizing, no nothing. Nothing. But you are a leader. In the no, I'm not a leader. Because as I said... No, no, I, Nizar. I'm fully aware of what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. I'm not an organizer. 
Politics is organizing. And I said, you have to invest the same amount of energy, creativity, ingenuity, and time in organizing the people of Gaza as you invested in your tunnels. I'm not that. I'm just saying, I just did it in the spur of the moment. I was watching something on the internet. It just appalled me. I decide, what the hell, I'm going to get arrested tomorrow. Within 12 hours, 150 people came to the, U, uh, came to the Israeli mission to the UN, and uh, 26 of us uh, got arrested. You would be very surprised at how determined many people are to achieve justice for the people of Palestine. Right, without the steadfastness so, of the Gazans, probably this enthusiasm will be entirely Absolutely taken correct. The question is to so what? Now, the question, the is, question is, is to what end do okay. you use the steadfastness? I say mass nonviolent civil resistance combine that, it there no with here. You can achieve the same goal with much less death and destruction as you haven't achieved with armed struggle.